hello guys welcome back to my channel today I want to talk about the crown button which is this button and some of the functions that we can do with this crown button so first of all time it had to show the current time so the watch needs to be on the time keeping mode which is right now so let's go straight to the point and see what the crown button does unscrew the crown button yeah and pull it out and see what happens let me just get this closer to the camera Okay, you can see the city is flashing and the second hands stop right on the home city which is currently London. Let me show you that one more time. Press this back. It goes to the current time and as soon as you pull it out, yeah, it stops on the current home city. With the crown button, you can go to a different cities and according to that, it show you the time of that city. So let's go back to the original one, which I set for my hometown. So the top right button, top right hand side, pressing, it doesn't do anything right now. The bottom right hand side it doesn't do anything right now obviously when the crown is out <coughs> and the top left hand side you press the top left hand side okay it shows hour and minutes on the display so that means you can set you can adjust the hour and minute by using the crown button. If you move it, you can see the minute is changing. Press this top left hand side one more time, see what happens. It doesn't. So only press it one time and it went to the hour and minute and we could just adjust the minute using the crown button. But if it's flashing hour and minute, and we press this button which is the bottom left hand side it goes to hour so that means now we can adjust the hours by using the crown button as you can see back and forward now press this one more time it goes to the year so again, with the crown, you can change the year going up or down. Pressing this one more time, it will go to the month and day, which again, using the crown button, you can set that. And goes back to the original one. So all of this happened when we press the top left hand side. But using this watch, you don't need to adjust it manually because when you set your home city, the watch automatically show the correct time and date and everything. Press this back in. So the only button that we haven't tried is bottom left hand side. Let's pull the crown out. Again, city is flashing and Let's press this one and see what happens. Okay, first of all, daylight saving time, which is on auto for me, but you can change that, turn it off or turn it on and put it on automatic. What does this mean? If that's on auto, the watch automatically change the time when the clock goes forward or backward. It happens twice in a year and the watch will automatically adjust the time for you without doing anything. So it 
it's good to keep that on auto. Press this one more time. Key tone. I prefer mine to be on, so every time you press a button, it just make a sound. But obviously, you can use the crown button to turn it off and mute it. It's entirely up to you. I keep mine on. Press this one more time. Auto light on. Again, you can turn this off using the crown button, but mine is on and I will come back to this to explain what it really means. Now, let's move on to the next function. Press this one more time. It's a light. And you can see, indicating number one. You can change that using the crown, become number three. So it has two different options and now I'll explain what it means. When you press this button, which turn the lights on, if that's on light number one, the light will stay on for at least one and a half second, which is showing on the display. But if you keep that one on number three, the light will stay on for three seconds. Yeah, as you noticed, it is on for longer. Again, it's up to you guys which one you prefer. I keep mine on number one or level one because it uses less power. So let's move on to the next option. Press this again. This is 12 hours mode or 24 hours. You can use the crown. It's just for the digital watch. If you want it 24 hours or you want it 20, 12 hours, it's up to you. The next button. The next button is power saving. Power saving can be turned on and turned off. I keep mine turned off. Let me explain what it means. Power saving is when you keep your watch in a dark location for a long time the digital screen will go blank and the second hand will stop on the 12 o'clock the purpose of that is to save some battery life and if you keep your watch for six or seven days in a very dark location all hands will stop moving the digital display will go blank and all the functions basically stop. So that's why I keep mine on off. You can turn it on if you want, but that's the purpose of that. But it's nothing scary, even if you keep it for a long, long time in a dark place and if you don't use it and all functions stop, as soon as you press any button, any button, it will go back to the showing the current current time so let's press this again and see where it goes yeah that was all for this so we covered everything if if the watch was on the timekeeping mode and we pulled the crown button out so we covered all buttons and what they do and what they means. So now you can push the crown back and the watch goes back to showing the current time, obviously. The only thing which I said I will explain later is the, was that the light on or off? What does that mean? If you turn that on, when the watch when the watch is on your wrist if you wear your watch as soon as you twist your wrist towards yourself the light will automatically turn on this light will automatically turn on and off you can keep that on you can keep that off it entirely up to you let me show you the movement it just like that's your wrist and you move it towards you just like that and the light will automatically turn on so i hope you like this video 
if you have any question regarding to this particular watch if you're not sure about some of the features and function please comment i'll be happy to answer and stay tuned for our next videos thank you guys